Hey everybody, it's Bobby G. Just picking up right where we left off from the last episode. Uh, we've turned off the fountain here, and now uh, we need to find our buddy downstairs' music box, and I think he'll drain it for us. And it's quite clear that we want to be able to get in here, thanks to the mouse showing us that's kind of what we're interested in, but we need to drain it first. So, that begs the question of where even is a music box, because I haven't, I don't think I've seen one. I don't think I've seen one, so I'm not sure what the next step is here. So, let's see. Is this another time puzzle? Nine? What is that, nine... I'm not making any sense of this yet. So, I don't know. What does this lady have to say again? Infinity over the city. Okay, great. I'd like to come in here. Can I use this? Nope, nope, nope. Obviously can't use the sunflower oil container. All right, let's go back downstairs and check things out and see what's going on. Let's see what's going on, folks. Because I am a little bit out of ideas at the moment. I still don't see anybody's record player. Can I fill it up with gook now? No. Can I soak this in gook? I can! Oh, it's flypaper. <laughs> okay, I have some flies. <laughs> Alright, well maybe this little critter in here wants to eat the flies. That would make sense, right? Would you like some flies? No. Apparently not. Okay. Alright. Oh, flies... Flies, flies, flies. Would the owl like to eat flies, I wonder? Would these guys not appreciate it if there was flies in their bar? Apparently not, folks. The bartender doesn't like it. So be distracted. Now get oil, I guess. Yes! Get the barrel. <laughs> There's no door on the bar, so why aren't these flies in there anyway? Oh, did I get this guy's drum back? All right. Yeah. I'm not sure if that was his drum that he had before, but this will do. And he's happy. And if he's happy, we're happy. He kind of looks like a frog. And this poor lady's upset yet again. Going to throw the next pot. You really should be able to contain your rage a little better if you just destroyed your plant. Well, now it's my plant. Can I put it in here? No. So what am I going to do with a plant? Can I... It's too easy to... Yeah, okay. What to do with a plant? This is a very long level. So we're probably... Well, we're not... We're probably not done with this bar. So I took your oil. Now I can't even talk to you. It's fine. Can I fill up? Nope. This guy doesn't care. Yeah, I know. Can I do anything? No. How about the plant? Nope, nope, nope. Alright. Well, just... Oh, there's the record player. Duh. It's right there. Alright. You just gonna play another game or what? I don't really want to play. You can win. I don't want to play. That's fine. He doesn't... He sits in this bar all day playing this game. He probably needs a win or two. Alright. Well, now the only guy that doesn't have his instrument back is the guy with the robotic didgeridoo. 
So maybe we can take our newfound knowledge and figure something out. And I stop here for some reason every time. Not sure why that would be. I don't see anything obvious going on here except for these cleaning robots. If I stop here just to look at the view, I'm happy with that. I like the view on this this stage. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This door's still locked, obviously. The plant is probably not going to make any difference there. Nope. I still need money somehow. I still need money somehow. Yeah, he doesn't know. Well, what's... Ah. I knew it looked like a wind-up of some sort. Let's wind it up. Infinity over the city. Oh, wait. Okay, it's infinity. <laughs> this is... Silly. In infinity. Seven. Alright. <laughs> Do I really have to get this to seven? Six. Seven. Aha! What is this, a church? It kind of does look like a church, I guess. Alright, well that lady's very happy that she gets to go in her temple of robots or something. And now we have a new paper. Six. But what is that doing for us? Can I go in? Can I go in there? Seven. Nine. Well, what does it do? Different stuff. Like, what if I... Wait, hold on. Are you done? Where are you going now? So she goes in there every time I... <laughs> okay. So now I have to do this again because I didn't pay attention to the paper necessary that was behind her. No prob, no prob, no prob. Nice little jingle. Church bells, maybe. I guess this little bell up top's ring a ding dongin. So, the sun at 6 o'clock is crossed off. Okay. Well, I guess that's obvious what I want to do then. Round and round it goes, folks. The sun at 6 o'clock has some kind of importance, I think. Oh, we're almost there. This is tedious. That's alright. The sun at 6 o'clock, folks. Alright, she comes out because it's not Infinity 7. But I don't know what happened. I don't think anything. Whatever. The sun at six o'clock was crossed off. So what's different about the world then? What is different about the world then? Nothing really. Okay. <laughs> I still don't know where there's sunflower seed oil. Maybe the cat likes plants. I doubt it. We're making a couple steps in a row there, but now I'm a bit a bit perplexed, folks. Can I oil up the cat? No. Why? I want to take this gun. It really makes it look like I can't. Can I do anything else with this ladder? No, not really. This puzzle... I need the, the puzzle piece back. I think. 
I mean, what do I know, I guess? That puzzle kind of looks like it goes together. I still need money for my spark plugs. The plant obviously doesn't want to go in there. This guy. Can I fill up my oil jug again, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'd like to grab that gun or whatever it is. Soldering iron, perhaps. And I'm pretty sure that uh, we all know how this goes. Poor kitty. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it, and I'll just jump off and hmm, go back downstairs. Infinity at six o'clock. I am starting to be perplexed. We got all this stuff. Oh, nighttime? Is that what that's supposed to signify? Like, can I turn it to nighttime? Pi at 9 o'clock? Pi at 9? Pi in the sky? Come on, almost. Pi at 9 o'clock. That's, yeah, eight, nine, eight, nine. Oh, look at this guy! What the heck is this? <laughs> he looks like a mummy or a fortune teller. What is that supposed to mean? Okay. Uh, uh, that was very confusing. Can I get it to happen again? This guy comes out, and he's all dingling donging. Where did he come from? Does that have anything to do with anything? Okay, well why don't we try Blair Witch Symbol at 9 o'clock then. I don't know. Gotta try what's on the papers, I guess. Blair Witch looking symbol, but not really. I'll just pretend, and at 9. This guy's gonna come out again and do the same old, the same old thing. All right. So I'm guessing I should do the thing on the paper behind this lady that's not crossed off. Because I tried the sun, and it was crossed off. Wait. So, infinity at, what was it? Six, seven, infinity, seven, yeah. Go in there, lady. For some reason, these robots have no real sense of time or anything because you can just turn the clock back to something and they believe that uh, it's that time again. Notice there's like a little moon here. I wonder if that signifies that, because there's a moon on the paper for the hour that this guy came out. Might be just a coincidence in the art. So why don't we try music note six, right? What was it? Damn it! Music note four, no. Six, yeah. Sorry. Wait, music note, yeah. Ah, come on. By music note, I mean the thing that looks like a treble clef. I mean. 
eighty percent treble clef. All right, here we go again, round and round and round and round and round. We'll get there eventually, folks. We'll get there eventually. Music, treble clef looking thing. This is actually difficult to do over and over and over. At six. Ah, oh, it's break time. It's break time for this uh, guard that looks very Jewish with the top hat and it almost looks like curls. Makes me think this is a church even more because, uh, well, that's obviously our ticket to get up here and go into this tower. There's even a Star David here, I think. Go up there. Maybe there's money up here. Are we going to turn into a, a thief? Oh, <laughs> okay. I just stole, like, the megaphone. Okay. I mean, that sounds good to me. Is there any other reason that we should be up here? Is that it? Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Money for spark plug. It again. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, boy. Well, we can leave the clock most likely where it is. I'm gonna go back up here one more time and see if uh, see if I can't mess with these animals up here with uh, the new speaker phone I have, or maybe that's the piece that goes onto that guy's didgeridoo. He needs like a piece at the end or something. Well. That went nowhere fast. We may as well go over here and just make sure we can't open the door with it for some reason. Our little owl friend in pursuit. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, great. Let's just get back down then. Let's just get back down the stairs, folks. Every couple movements we make a little bit of progress. I'm happy to say, I'm happy to say. This level's pretty interesting in of itself. I think I've already spent... What? An hour? Just tooling around in this level? No complaints there. I enjoy a challenge, as you all may know, from me not once. Not once hitting the hint button. Let's see if we can keep it that way. Let's move on over here. Can I access my inventory and... No. Alright. Well, that foiled itself pretty quick. Doesn't hook on to the end of his robotic didgeridoo. Oh yeah, that's right. Can I fill this back up with oil? No. I've already done that. It won't let me do it again. That is fine with me. I wonder... I mean, this is so obvious to be something I want to do. Like, I want that radio, maybe, but... But how? I don't know how. Let's go back in here and see if we can't, like, spook these guys with, uh... My radio, my speaker. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. This guy's still kind of bummed out about the flies. Alright. Well, this was a bit of a dud. I have one more idea. <clears throat> Down with our Velociraptor wrench man friend, there was like a little hole in the wall that looked circular. I don't see why necessarily there would be room for a speaker to go into. 
but that's something that comes to mind. Wonder if I should change the clock just because that guy will come out and maybe do something then? Why don't we just like move the clock an hour? He'll come back out, and what's he gonna do? Is he gonna realize that his uh that his speaker's gone, or is he just gonna kind of be happy not to know anything about it? He's pretty happy to know nothing about it. Right back to his newspaper, and hey, who can blame him? It's always good to catch up on current events. This is like a big bathtub. Like, it looks like it would be pretty fun to hang out here. If there's like full of water, maybe. Alright, well. He doesn't know what to do. Let's try to put the speaker there. No. I guess that was a kind of a silly idea anyway. I can't put the plant there either. What if I come down here and walk on over to this pipe? Can I plant it? No. Can I put the speaker in here? No. Can I walk back over to the grate? And what can I do? Put the plant in the grate. No. Put the speaker in the grate. I don't know why that would do anything. No. Okay. Well, I'm out of ideas at the moment, folks, and it's been about another 22 minutes, so I think I'm going to cut it cut it yet again. Uh, this has been part three. I have what I'm calling... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Just as I say that, there's a clue. My memory is that we're shooting... <laughs> My robot girlfriend and I are shooting tar at each other. Paintballs, maybe? Oil balls? We had fun? <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if what that matters, but we won't forget it nonetheless. So, thanks for tuning in. This has been Bobby Ginto yet again, and I'll see you next time.